So we are going to find the area and perimeter of triangles on the coordinate plane. And so in order to do this, we need to use this method called the box method here. So the reasoning why is usually we're used to seeing for area, hopefully you're thinking it's base times height divided by two for triangles, and the perimeter is when we add all the sides. Well, if you look at this triangle here on the coordinate plane, first off, I don't know what the lengths of the sides are, but also I don't then know the base and the height in order to plug it into the formula. So to help us get this information, we are going to draw a box around the triangle. And why we are drawing this box is that hopefully you can see I created these three triangles right here where they are right triangles and it'll help me find all this information. So our first step after we draw our box is to then label all the side lengths for these three little right triangles that I created. One, two, three, four. This is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this one's five and five. Okay, so let's start with perimeter. So again, we need to add all the side lengths. So if I zoom in here and I'm looking specifically at this triangle, hopefully you recognize that there is a right triangle here and I can find this side length AC by using the Pythagorean theorem, right? Um, we have our two legs and we're trying to find this hypotenuse here. So to find the length of AC, it's going to be five squared plus five squared. But remember the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So the fives were a and b. Well, to get c on its own, remember we square root it. So we're gonna square root all of this. So when you are doing these, use your calculator and round all answers to the nearest 10th, okay? Nearest 10th. All right, so if I type this in, so the square root of five squared plus five squared, it's going to give me 7.1. So that is the length of AC, 7.1. All right, so now I'm gonna find the length here of AB, still using the Pythagorean theorem, two squared plus four squared, and we'll square root it. So it is 4.5. And like I said, hopefully you're just using your calculator. And then this one right here of BC is going to be 1 squared plus 7 squared, which in our case that also is going to be 7.1. So this here was 4.5, and then this one also was 7.1. So to find the perimeter, of this triangle, we're gonna do 7.1 plus 4.5 plus 7.1, which gives me 18.7. And now I necessarily don't have units, so we're just gonna leave it as 18.7, but if you write units, that's fine. Like just plain old units. All right, so now let's talk about the area. So if you look here, so I'm gonna leave, whoops, we don't really need these side lengths anymore. I'm gonna leave the orange triangle colored in, and I'm gonna color in these two here. So hopefully you can see all four of these triangles create this entire box. So what we do is again, I can't find the triangle that's on the inside here. I don't, I have the base, which is 7.1, but I still don't know exactly what the height is. So what we can do is this method called the box method, where you first find the area of the box, which in our case, that would be five times seven, so 35. Then you find the area of each one of these triangles. So area triangle one, which is five times five, and then we divide that by two. So 12.5. Then the area of this second triangle here, so triangle two, is two times four divided by two, which will give me four. And then the area, yeah, that color, area of 
triangle three here is one times seven divided by two, so 3.5. So you should see all four, or these three together, plus this missing one we're trying to find, are gonna add up whoops, to this total area of 35. So what we do now then to find the area is I'm gonna add up the area of the three triangles that I just found. So 20, and we're gonna subtract it from the box because then whatever's left is the area of this missing triangle on the inside. So the area, so if we do 35 minus 20, we get 15. The area of triangle ABC equals 15. And those are our two answers um, for the area and the perimeter of this triangle. So let's do another example. So if you wanna pause the video and sketch this problem out so you can work on it and then check it with me, that would be great. So I'm first step, drawing my box. Gonna label all the sides. So this one's one, two, three, four, five, six. Eleven. Thirteen. Five. This one should be six. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So I'm going to start with perimeter. So let's find AC first. Doesn't matter where you start. So that's five squared plus 13 squared. And again, we square root it because we're using the Pythagorean theorem. And rounded to the nearest 10th, it is 13.9. Then this side AB here is gonna be six squared plus 11 squared. So six squared plus 11 squared is 12.5. And then our last side right here, CB, is 6 squared plus 7 squared. Whoops. Typed it in wrong to my calculator, so I'm retyping it. So 6 squared plus 7 squared is 9.2. So our perimeter is going to be 13.9 plus, whoops. 12.5 plus 9.2, so 13.9 plus 12.5 plus 9.2. So it is 35.6, so that is the perimeter. Then to find the area, first we find the box area. So remember for a box, you do the entire base, which in our case is 13 times the entire height, which is 11. So 13 times 11 is 143. And then we'll just call it one, two, three. So triangle one, we're gonna find its area is five times 13 divided by two, which is 32.5. Triangle two is six times seven divided by two, so that should give me 21. Double checking, yep. And then triangle three, is six times 11 divided by two, so that is 33. So our like last two steps to find the area is we add all of the triangle areas up. So 32.5 plus 21 plus 33. So it is 86.5. So then finally the area of the triangle is 143 minus 86.5. which gives me 56.5. So there's our area. So that is how we use the box method to find area and perimeter on the coordinate plane.